I wanted to talk about this, tell you about what just happened while it's still fresh in my mind. I was uh, off work. I work in downtown Ann Arbor. I'm riding my bike home and I'm about two blocks away. I got a rig just like this with a backpack on the front. I got to a crosswalk at a busy intersection. So I stop and I'm standing there on my bike waiting to pedal away when traffic clears and the light turns, so it shows the walk signal. And uh, all of a sudden, I mean in a split second, there's a cop holding my arm. And I said, whoa. And he said, I need to talk to you. And I said, sure. And he said, do you have any weapons on you? I thought for a second, I said, I have a box cutter. And then I tried to reach in my pocket to show him my box cutter. And he says, don't, don't move your hands. Don't move your hands. And then he said, now put them behind your back. And another cop walks up. And all of a sudden, I'm being handcuffed. And it's at this busy intersection. And he says, step off the bike, please. So I step off the bike. He says, is this your backpack? And I said, yes, it is. He said, how long have you owned it? I said, for a couple of years. And he says, uh, I need to look inside. And I said, sure. And uh, so he, the one cop has it down on the ground. And he's going through it, asking me about the contents. And the other guy says, uh, which pocket is your box cutter in? And I said, it's in my left front pocket. You want to get it out? I'm, I'm, I'm handcuffed at this point. And it, it, what's weird was I couldn't even see the handcuffs. I didn't know what kind they were, you know, like they're shiny metal or something. It felt more like a cable bike lock or something. I never did see them. What happened was there were two Ann Arbor police cars, those big SUVs. There were three. They were. They had me. They, if I had done something, they had me. And uh, it, it was in a split second. And I said, well, what's going on? And they said, uh, we have uh, someone in the back of that car there who identified you as having his backpack. And I said, well, you've searched it. You know that it's my backpack because they had asked me about the contents. And uh, he says, okay, yeah, you're right. Do you have some ID? And I said, yeah. You're going to let me go? And I said, sure. He thanked me for being so cooperative and polite. And I thanked him for doing his job. And then uh, they unlocked me. And I showed him my driver's license. They wrote it down. And I said, wait, can we put the handcuffs back on so I can get a selfie with you guys arresting me? And they said, no, that's, we couldn't do that. That's against our policy. Otherwise, I'd make it part of this video. But it turns out somebody got their backpack stolen. And I didn't know the guy who got it stolen was in the back of the car. And they were zooming around downtown Ann Arbor looking for the perpetrator, who they thought was me, because it was a camo backpack they were looking for. So he just said, that's the guy. And they told me this, and I didn't hear the part that he was the victim. I thought it was uh, the criminal, the perpetrator. And I said, well, tell the guy in the back of your cruiser, I said, screw you. And they said... Well, we will. And then as we talked a little bit, I realized that he was a victim. And I said, wait, cancel that. Don't say that to him. And you guys have a great day if I'm free to go. And they said, you are. Thanks for being so polite. So that, my adrenaline is going like, bam, bam, bam. I'm thinking, wow, I would hate to be trying to break the law with those guys. They were very efficient. I mean, in a split second, they had me. They had me in the cuffs. But now I'm a free man, and I will enjoy the rest of the day.